Hello there, YouTube. It's your boy B3 back with another kicking. Oh, you guessed it, Papa. Action figure review. Today we are looking at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Adam Smasher from Black Adam. I was very happy when I heard that JSA was going to be in that movie because I'm a big Black Adam fan, but I'm also a huge JSA fan. And Adam Smasher and Black Adam have a ton of history together in the comics. They really do. Look it up. But, uh, this Adam Smasher was a much younger, uh, inexperienced Adam Smasher in the film, which is fine, because it gives him room to grow. I mean, we're not going to see him grow now, because they completely changed up their plan. They never had a plan. That was a lie. But, uh, we still got a cool Adam Smasher figure out of it. I like this movie look for Adam Smasher. They gave him, that's just straight up Deadpool's eyes, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is a really cool figure. Nice raised symbol there. Here comes your kibby. Hi, kibby. Uh, one thing I thought was weird is you see his right hand is glossy. It's like a metallic -y glossy thing. And then it's very matte uh, left hand. And then the interchangeable hands are the same way. This one is glossy. And this one is matte. I don't know why that is. <laughs> I don't know if that's a strange creative choice from the movie that I don't remember, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's just a weird mistake. Very odd. I mean, he's got his boots, his floppy boots, and etc. He's a very good-looking figure. I like all the little scuffs they've sculpted into his gauntlets here. Very cool. But, uh, I guess we can go ahead and get into accessories. He comes with two punchy-punch hands and two grabby-grab hands. All right. And then he comes with the standard DC stand. And the trading card. Uh, the art on the movie figures is often pretty underwhelming, and this one's not as good as some others. But for the movie art cards, I think it's a decent one. Better than the Blue Beetle, that's for sure. I have reviewed the Blue Beetle. Uh, this doesn't show up as well on camera as it does in person, but if you want to pause that and read it, you can go right ahead. Now, this is the normal-sized version of this fella. Uh, there is a, a bigger size that's a Mega Fig, which was a good call, I think, making a normal size and a Mega Fig. But uh, we are going to do a size comparison since I'm already talking about sizes, you know. First up, I want to show him with another movie figure. Here he is with the Blue Beetle I mentioned earlier. This is the regular version of Blue Beetle. They're both younger guys. Uh, I think they look pretty good together both our movie figures from mcfarland's dc multiverse line then if we pull blue beetle out of there we can show him with a mega fig also a movie figure it is carapax that's pretty cool It'd be a neat fight and smasher can get like ultraman sized he can get big so his mega fig is really only a slight increase in size compared to what he's capable of but once again this is the regular size seven inch figure i'd get the mega fig though once again i am a huge justice society fan black adam was a fun film i thought uh but i wasn't like crazy for it <laughs> all right now how about some comic book figures this one was my last action figure review it is the j garrick flash age j garrick flash and they're both of course staple justice society members I think they look pretty good together. This Jay Garrick figure is actually kind of tall. Uh, so he's a little taller than this guy. But, I mean, this is a younger Adam Smasher. And even if this Adam Smasher was the same age as Jay Garrick, they also, uh, it's a pretty normal height difference for adult males to have. Cool. Let's pluck him out. And we got one more DC figure to show. And then one more figure after that, this is another comic figure, but instead of being from McFarlane's DC Multiverse line, it's from the McFarlane DC Direct Page Punchers line. It is the Black Manta from the Aquaman wave, which I think was wave three. He got reissued when the movie came out, Aquaman 2, Electric Boogaloo, or whatever the hell it was called, Lost Kingdom. I don't know, I didn't watch it. <laughs> but uh, this guy went up in price recently, so if you see him, uh, go ahead and grab him. He's a really good figure, and I did review him if you want to check that out. But I think he scales pretty well with Jay Garrick, too. Probably better than uh, some of those others did, actually. <laughs> Wait a second. 
I might be stupid. I'm going to leave that in for comedic effect. <laughs> I think I'm a dumb man. <laughs> here, here he is. With... <laughs> it's after midnight, if that gets me some lenience. That's so funny. <laughs> I only have time to film these, like, really late at night. Because uh, all day I have my day job and I have my own store that I'm working on, so... That's so funny, though. <laughs> it would be a crime to take that out of the video. That's way too funny. <laughs> Here's Black Manta <laughs> with Adam Smasher. And, uh, they look great. <laughs> Let's take you. <laughs> God, that's funny. And then I like to show him with Spawn for the last one. Uh... You know, Spawn is McFarlane's baby, and since he makes the figures of him as well in the same scale, I like to show him off, especially since Spawn has crossed over with DC multiple times in the past, and we'll be reviewing those comics relatively soon. But I think he looks good with this Al Simmons deluxe Spawn that came with the throne. Very, very cool. Also, everyone that I just showed in size comparisons, I have reviewed. Uh, this Spawn I reviewed a little while back, but everyone else I reviewed pretty recently. So you can check those out. Now... Let's do articulation. That's right, I didn't forget it. I'm just doing things out of order today, and incorrectly. Uh, <laughs> you've got a decent bit of up and down on the head. A nice side to side. Some wobble there. You know, you can't really see this joint. It's not as visually obvious as it usually is, but it still moves just as much. Very cool. Up and down. A nice rotation. Bicep swivel with a double elbow bend. You also have a very coche... Oh, wrong way. Forward and back. Rotation. A lot of torso movement. And the same on the waist. Then he has this rubber bussy covering, which lets his legs go back. Unlike, you know, say, Lightning Collection and Marvel Legends figures, which have hard bussies. But this rubber bussy lets him go back. Forward. In and out. Pretty great. You've got a, ooh, double knee bend. Just like Mom used to make. You have an ankle rotation and pivot and forward and back, or I guess you should say up and down, with the toe beams and peg holes. All right. Very ace. I quite like this guy. Really, I do. Uh, he's got a lot of great detail. I think he looks good. The one hand being glossy and one hand being not is very odd and it's extra odd that it carries over to the other accessories if it was just this one that was glossy and the other three weren't i'd be like oh that's just a tiny mistake but both being glossy is so odd if you know why that might be let me know because i have no clue it's been a while since i saw this movie i think it's just a weird mistake but yeah he's great from the deadpool eyes to the raised symbol uh, all the way down to his weird boots I like this guy. He's a nice, solid figure that a lot of people probably passed on. <laughs> Since his power is that he grows and stuff, a lot of people probably went for the mega fig over him. Uh, but since I'm a big Justice Society guy, and this guy was like really cheap online, uh, I found him for dirt cheap uh, during like Cyber Monday stuff. As, as So did that Jay Garrick. I got him super cheap too. But... I really like him. He's fun. He's a good, solid figure. Uh, there's nothing extraordinary about him. Like, when I reviewed that Jay Garrick and that Black Manta, I was really impressed with them. But this guy's just kind of... I probably like a run-of-the-mill movie figure. But still, that's not bad at all. So thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll be seeing you all next time. Bye for now.